Hi, folks. So I asked and I shall deliver. So today's going to be a bullet journal setup for my 2022 bullet journal and a look into my kind of planning method and organization. So I'm using the Leuchtturm uh, soft cover notebook. I really like the soft cover because it's just a little bit more lightweight. It is less pages, but I find that I usually end up um, not filling an entire bullet journal um, before I kind of am ready to move on to my next journal. Uh, so I'm fine with having a few less pages. I'm starting with the kind of traditional future log. Um, I used to do future logs like the whole entire year, and I found that that was just kind of too far in advance. Um, anything scheduling wise, I put into my iCalendar. Um, so I decided to just do kind of essentially first quarter and then leave a place for notes for kind of future. This is also nice because uh, we're going to have a wheel up one in March. So I have a feeling uh, the rest of the year is going to be a bit of a change. Uh, so maybe, you know, planning it too far in advance. Uh, I don't want to overcommit myself is kind of the theme for this year. So I'm just going through uh, writing in birth dates uh, in here. And I actually find that the future log, because I keep most of my like appointments and stuff like that in my iCalendar, I usually actually don't put a ton of like events into the future log. It's more someplace that I use for content planning so you can see I'm kind of putting in when I think okay these are the Tuesdays that I would like to have videos out and then I also have started using it for here are the things I want to try and get done this month. Um, I found this especially helpful as we've been preparing to have a small child because I'm able to kind of plan in advance what uh, I would like to be doing and kind of look ahead and say, okay, like for example, I'm writing down freezer meals. Let's do that in February. She should be coming sometime in March. Um, so that gives us time to do the freezer meals, but also they won't be sitting in the freezer for like three months before we ever get around to actually using them. Next up is a spread that I like to do that is just books. I like to keep track of what books I read every year. Uh, and this is something that I like. I found just the bullet journal is the easiest way for me to do that. So now we're getting into the main thing that I use my bullet journal for, and that is monthly and then um, kind of weekly slash daily spreads. So I'm trying out this new um, kind of method that I actually saw another YouTuber, uh, I'll put their name on the screen here, and that is doing a Dutch door. So cutting one of these pages in half, there you can see I'm referencing my calendar to make sure I get the right number of days in January um, because I can never remember. Uh, and yeah, I found, um, I started doing the Dutch door fairly recently and I found I like the spread because I like having kind of the left-hand side of the spread as a like, okay, here's a place to put the month. And then um, I've got a little uh, HP sprocket printer that I will print off photos from the month. So this is a lot more of a spread that is um, reflective for me. I do put in, okay, here's the breakdown of the month and kind of the events that are going on. You'll notice there are a lot of doctor's appointments this month. We're just keeping an eye on little one very closely. She is doing all right. And I also use it to kind of track my gratitudes and that's what I'm doing kind of behind the Dutch door. Uh, and then on the side that's kind of visible with the Dutch door being closed to the right uh, I put down kind of here are the big uh, I've I've called them quests uh, things I want to do this month um, oftentimes they are kind of bigger picture things that I then might break down into smaller steps uh, and I found again that just kind of keeping that bigger picture really helps me to keep on track to have a spot that I can 
write everything down and not have to keep everything in my head. It also helps me kind of look at the month and say, hey, maybe I've got too much going on this month and I need to shift a couple of things. Some of this can wait. I can do it next month. Or, or if I look at it and go, oh, I don't have as much going on as I thought, I might move something up or I might find some other things that maybe I've been kind of putting on the back burner. So I decided to do a little like utilize some of that paper that I cut out um, to do an insert of the month just because this brush pan does sometimes bleed through quite a bit. And then also I could practice doing the cursive and if I had screwed up I could have done it again. But at the same time, I am trying to embrace letting my bullet journal kind of just be a place that it's okay if I make mistakes, it's okay if it doesn't look super pretty. You'll notice um, I'm not uh, super, like, I don't do really fancy spreads. Uh, you did see I pulled out one of my old journals to kind of show the size of the photos that I will put in there once they're... Um, once the month has gone through. And yeah, I've, I've found, I started doing kind of these daily gratitudes and really kind of spending a little bit more time looking back on the month, uh, back in 2020, um, just, you know, when we were, everybody was staying at home and uh, wasn't really sure when we were going to be able to like, even really go to the grocery store, I needed something to help uh, differentiate the days. And I found that doing these gratitudes kind of helped me, uh, even if it was a lot of the same things that I was doing every day, to find something special about that day. Oh, hey, we went on a really nice walk today. We got to go and walk around the zoo. We watched a movie, Ryan made homemade noodles, whatever it was, kind of finding that positive thing to reflect on. And this is something my therapist actually suggested I started doing. And initially I was a little like, eh, keeping a gratitude journal. Um, but it worked. It worked. It definitely helped. <laughs> All right, so now I'm filling in the quests for the month. You saw me flip back to the kind of future log that I had um, to remind myself what I had put down. Um, so yeah, especially as I move kind of further into the year, uh, I'll probably reference back to that future log to do these monthly and weekly spreads. And sometimes these are really big picture things. Uh, and uh, I also use this space as a spot to kind of right in here are the videos that I would like to try and get done this month. So kind of uh, channel related. All right, so now I'm doing the weekly spread. I used to do, I've done a number of different kind of layouts for weeklies. Um, and I've found that this I think is kind of the best of both wor worlds because it allows me to keep track some things on a weekly basis, but then also have spot to write in dailies. So I have a little space to kind of keep track of what is happening day to day, um, write in any notes that I have, any thoughts, um, stuff like that. When I was just doing weekly spreads, I found I wasn't doing kind of that like week daily note taking spot. Um, so it was so incredibly like productive focused rather than being kind of a journal as well, uh, having that reflective, um, thoughtful element to it. So I think that this kind of gives me that nice, like balance in between where, um, as you can see, I've got kind of a little reference calendar. Uh, and I like that just so that I can kind of see if somebody, as I'm figuring things out, somebody says, the day of the month, I can kind of see when is that going to happen. And now I'm going in and doing kind of my uh, habit tracker. So I, I just using this little star stencil, I thought it was fun. And then I'll fill those in as I do it. I don't track a ton of kind of goals or things that I track. Uh, but right now I'm tracking water, knit, move, 
breathe and read, which I misspelled read initially. Hey, mistakes happen. Uh, so yeah, the water is just kind of making sure that I'm drinking enough. It's very important right now. Knitting is, I, I find knitting is very calming practice. Uh, so that and reading is more of like less goals and just kind of how often am I doing it? And then breathing and moving. I decided on move rather than try and say like, I want to do yoga every day or I want to walk X amount of, you know, steps every day, but just move my body in some way every day. And then the rest of that kind of weekly page it, or section is for priorities. So here are the things I want to get done this week, bigger picture stuff. And then um, again, events. And I put that on this page just as a reminder of like, here's the stuff that's going on this week. So I can kind of look at it, have this page open and see like, hey, Tuesday is a little bit more busier of a day. So maybe I might try and get a few more things done on Monday. And the rest of that space is where I will write in my dailies. So there you go. That is kind of how I set up my bullet journal right now. Um, I really like this. This sticker is from the Dame's first collection. I will try and put a link to the artist down below. I do use a different method for organizing um, my work stuff. I, I do work a kind of traditional 40 hour work week. And so for that, I use this uh, Planner M from Mochi Things, I think. Uh, and yeah, it's got the month views and then weeks. And I find this works really, really well for me for work because I can put up top the here kind of meetings, deadlines, and then this lower space I will use for kind of the weekly to do's and then any notes that I need to take. And it does have space kind of towards the back of the book. If I find that, hey, I'm in a meeting and I need to take a bunch of extra notes. But the reason that I use this kind of more traditional weekly planner for work is because I found with the kind of work that I do, I can actually plan weeks to months in advance. Um, and so that really helps me kind of see when am I going to have super busy weeks? When do I have a little bit lighter of a week? And maybe I can use that time to catch up on some work stuff. I have tried keeping just one journal that had personal channel and all my professional stuff in it. And I found that that just, um, it was difficult to kind of plan the professional stuff. Uh, and also I just needed that like mental differentiation between work and then everything else in my life, that kind of work-life balance. Um, so I found that keeping this planner purely work and then I have the bullet journal that is kind of everything else uh, and that allows me to kind of use it more as a bullet journal where it's a lot more that daily reflection, that kind of um, week to week. Now, as far as planning stuff for the channel, I just kind of use the apps in my phone. So I use iCal to kind of plan out the videos in in the entries. I'll put a note section like that's who we're thanking for our patron for this video. And then the video ideas, I just keep in the notes section, I just have a list of here are some potential video ideas. And whenever I get an idea, I just start a new note. Um, I also archive all of the old video ideas. Oh, hey, look, there's a spoiler of a potential video. <laughs> but yeah, I just start a new note and then I will use that note to add in bullet points or ideas or notes for that video. So you're potentially getting a little like spoiler of potential upcoming videos. Um, now, some of these have been in here for months. Some of them, you know, I put it in there and then almost immediately we end up recording the video. So like, here's the Let's Build a Town part three key NPCs, which is already out. I actually need to archive that. Um, but yeah, you can see, just put kind of everything we needed for that video in these notes. Um, and then I can reference it as we're prepping for the video, as we're filming it. 
Um, yeah, and I just find it easy to use the Notes app because I have it on my phone. I've tried a bunch of different apps and stuff like that, and honestly, I just find that using the bullet journal for kind of my daily what I'm doing, all that stuff, is easiest. And then as far as planning more long term, just using kind of the simple apps that are on my phone. So there you go. That's a look inside how I kind of um, plan and organize not only like personal things, but also stuff for the channel. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this kind of fun bonus video thing. Uh, and if you want to see kind of more of this stuff, definitely let me know. Um, I'd be happy to, you know, post some of this on Twitter or Instagram, or maybe do some more videos on bullet journaling or just looks inside game journals as well. A big thanks to all of our patrons, especially Eleni. If you want to support our channel, you can head on over to patreon.com slash roll for initiative and check out the perks of being a patron. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.